At Martin Luther King Jr. Community Hospital in South Los Angeles, so many patients have flooded through the hospital's doors in recent weeks, about 70% of them with COVID-19, that administrators converted its gift shop and chapel into areas to treat patients, according to CEO Dr. Elaine Batchelor. The hospital is a 131-bed facility that is now treating 224 patients. Among them 35 are receiving intensive care when the hospital was previously only licensed to handle 20 in ICU. Though it's a small facility, the hospital located in a relatively low-income and predominantly black community has been one of the hardest hit in a county that's leading the state in its catastrophic surge in new hospitalizations. More than 7, 400 people were hospitalized for COVID-19 in LA County as of Tuesday, December 29, with 1, 428 in ICUs. Batchelor said she and her staff looked at rates of coronavirus patients compared to other facilities and found MLK Community Hospital had the most patients who tested positive for COVID by percentage of occupancy than any hospital within 15 miles. What it means is we have added additional beds to our normal number of licensed beds and we have also put gurneys in any location that's appropriate to create some extra care space, Batchelor said. The gift shop, already cleared out to serve as a conference room, was once again recently repurposed to treat patients. Part of the emergency department has been cordoned off as a COVID unit. Obviously there comes a point where you are saturated, Batchelor said. It could be only a matter of time when the hospital was placed under crisis standards of care where difficult decisions must be made based on prognosis and medical need, according to Batchelor. Each facility decides when those standards will be enacted. The general principle is you assess each patient's needs and assess their prognosis and match your scarce resources for patients most likely to benefit, Batchelor said. You're balancing how dire the need is with the prognosis and availability of resources. On Saturday, Batchelor met with a state team to assess the hospital's needs, which include at the top of the list staffing and regional transfers. Batchelor said in normal circumstances, making transfers between hospitals is difficult, especially given that many of their patients are lower income without insurance. The pandemic has not made those issues any easier. It would be really helpful for us if there was a way for the distribution of COVID patients to be balanced a little bit more equitably across the county, Batchelor said. The burden of COVID-19 has been felt especially hard here in this lower